Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my October budget recap. It's a little late, but I figure I should, it's probably good just for me to be consistent. So here it is. I did make a lot of changes this month or in October for November. So eventually we'll get to that probably in the next video. So, so not September, October. So in the month of October, I decided to start working on like my actual color coding scheme for my categories because I realized I hadn't actually done that yet. And I really want to follow the budget mom's method as much as possible, especially if I'm going to be using her worksheets. So, um, for my total income, it ended up being, I have here 1416, but I think it was actually, it was actually 1625. So 1625 was my total income. Um, I did have my phone that was like $98, my car insurance and anytime fitness as part of my fixed expenses. My variable expenses were kind of like all over the place because I was trying to figure out like what's considered a travel expense and what's considered like for potlucks and things like that. So my debt was also a little bit all over the place. I didn't pay as much into it as I would have liked, but that's okay. And I didn't do anything for saving. That's just completely not, it just did not happen this month. For my monthly goals, for my monthly calendar, that is, I tried to like doodle a little bit. I did have, I did decide to like outline it if I didn't have any expenses and just, oh, sorry, you can't even see that. I did decide to outline it in green if I didn't have any expenses that came out, but still color it in like this orange brown color. Um, but it's technically also considered like a no spend day. So of the 31 days, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 no spend days, which I think is pretty good. Um, here you can see the last line. And I split my weeks here just based on the actual weeks for the month. And then I also decided to start working on like creating my budget categories and like a color scheme for them and whether it was a fixed or variable expense. And I think I'm doing, I think I'm, I'm finally getting like on a track. I don't know if it's the right track or not, but definitely a, a track. Whereas before I was just kind of like all over the place for four, 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 my October bill pay account. Um, I had, I did continue my debt snowball for my car and that was just the $4 and 70 cents for this, for October. I'm not doing it for November or December though, even though it's only 93 cents, but I'm just not going to do it. <laughs> so what else is there on here? I totaled my categories here at the bottom and then I ended the month with $50.55. For my October expense tracker for my Chase card, I am really happy. It's only on one page. I'm always worried that I have like one line left. I'm always worried that it's going to turn into two pages, but things like this made me realize that I have too many categories. There's just too much that I'm trying to split up into, and I, I have to stop. It's just too much. So. What I decided to do, um, this is my Chase Rewards card. It was just allergist, so that's good. So what I decided to do was um, create my categories. So that's all here, basically. Um, here I made like a week by week breakdown of everything, and I just subtracted what I spent each month, each week, I mean, based on the main category section and then subtracted it from that total so I knew how much was left from each account or each section every month and like this is so much there's just so much and it's not in any particular order so basically what I did was I took 
all of these guys. These are all of my original envelopes. I don't really put money in here like I should, but I basically I, I used them and I wrote them all down and then I separated them based on like the categories that I thought were um, went together. So like like Renfest, date nights, game nights. I'm considering all of these to be like entertainment. So I don't need to categorize each one by one, but I can just put them all as like one category. And then in my expense tracker, I can track them based on the category that they're coming from, but also like this was a game night, this was a date night. So that's where, if I ever get to you be get to a point where I am using cash on a more consistent basis, then I'll definitely get back to these guys. But for right now, it's it's just we're not in a it's just not practical, so it's not worth it. But I still want to remember like how many holidays do I have to plan for? How many savings accounts do I need to think about? How many um, what are my entertainment ideas for the year? So it's these are basically the categories that I've tried to set myself up for. And I'm sure they'll change and they have changed a little bit here and there anyway. For debt to savings, as you can see, I didn't save anything. For Barclay, I decided to make some changes a little bit in October. Uh, my Discover card was offering a balance transfer option. So I decided, I don't know what page I wrote it on now. I think I wrote it in November. But I decided to just cancel this card completely. And once my balance transfer went through to my Discover card is when I reached out to Barclay and said, just cancel the card, please, thanks. So now that's done, and I've officially zeroed out that card. So that's very exciting. But now I'll basically have a new card line here. Um, but I'll at least have more money going to principal than to interest, which is really nice. For my September to October balance, the big differences, I guess, would be like entertainment, where I didn't spend anything for entertainment last month, but this month I spent 133 and that includes anything from like my sister's wedding that I went to, where I got my hair done, no, my, I keep calling it my hair, Nails, I had a manicure, I had a manicure done. And um, like dry ice that I bought for a potluck that I was having for my Dungeons and Dragons night with my friends. And cause I was trying to like set the mood and make it like spooky for Halloween. And I learned a lot about dry ice. Like it needs to be in a styrofoam cooler, not the freezer because it turns out it can explode in the freezer. And I didn't want that, so I like ran to Walmart to get a styrofoam cooler because we didn't have one. So, uh, so yeah, so that's, that was exciting. Just a lot of like little random things that happened, um, and that is the end of October. So, rather, actually, I'm only about eight minutes in. So, uh, actually, I'll just end it here. <laughs> Part of me just wants to just jump into November because I'm really excited, but I'm going to end it here and I think I'm making pretty good progress. Um, November's not going to look like this. It's not going to be as like categor categorically intense. I don't even know if that's a real word, but um, there's going to be a little bit of changes in my categories is basically what I'm going to, what I'm trying to say. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you shortly, hopefully, for my November budget breakdown. <laughs>